Port Kembla is becoming one of Australia's leading centres of investment and research into green energy sources. Within a few years, the Wollongong suburb will be home to a hydrogen power plant, decarbonised steel manufacturing and a hydrogen refuelling station for heavy vehicles. Port Kembla, known for its steelworks and the St George Illawarra Dragons. But it's also playing an important role in emissions reduction by developing a hydrogen industry. Here at Port Kembla, we're absolutely sort of focused on making sure we're participating in that development of that hydrogen industry with the aim of one day Port Kembla becoming a hydrogen hub. The Blue Scope Steelworks manufactures about 3 million tonnes of steel each year. To reduce emissions, the company's exploring ways to make green steel, steel made with green hydrogen. The scale of change that's going to have to happen to enable green steel to be made is well beyond just Blue Scope. So we're, we're, at, we're talking to all different partners to, to try and work out ways to develop that pathway. Core Gas produces hydrogen at its Port Kembla plant. Its hydrogen is used for many industrial applications, but it can even power cars. They are small cars, so the impact of decarbonisation is relatively small. Our focus is heavy transport. We believe that if we can electrify heavy vehicles, then the impact on the, on the carbon emission will be significant. Core Gas has ordered two hydrogen trucks and will build a hydrogen refuelling station in the Illawarra. Our truck will use around 10 kilograms of hydrogen per 100 kilometres. We are driving with those trucks on average 300, 400 kilometres per day. It means the truck will use between 30 or 40 kilograms of hydrogen every day. It might not look like much at the moment, but within a few years, there's going to be a dual fuel power station behind me, running off LNG gas and hydrogen. And by 2030, green hydrogen only, zero carbon energy. Squadron Energy, backed by mining billionaire Andrew Forrest, is developing the project. It's a huge investment. It'll be around about $1.3 billion and it'll employ around about 600 to 700 people during construction. Um, and then there'll be sort of 25 to 30 operational jobs uh, when it's fully up and running. The project is currently in feasibility phase, with the plan for it to be operational by the end of 2024. One of the things clearly is we need more renewable energy coming into the system. We need to retire those um, coal-fired power stations as quickly as we can. Edward Boyd, Sky News.